Total hip replacement surgery is primarily done for end-stage arthritis of the hip and that's a condition where the cartilage, which is the smooth material over the ends of the bones, deteriorates and you, one ends up with pain typically in the groin and going down the thigh. And with a hip replacement surgery, we now do it as an outpatient. So a patient comes in, has anesthesia, usually that's a spinal anesthetic, sometimes it's a general anesthetic. Then I go ahead surgically and replace the ball of the hip with either a chrome cobalt or a ceramic head with a stem that goes down into the thigh bone or the femur bone. And then I replace the socket with a shell, which, which is metallic. This is a procedure that typically takes about one and a half to two hours. We do it in the outpatient surgery setting. The patient is then discharged home. We have home health nurses come in to the patient's home to help them with mobilization and then home physical therapy to enable them to walk. Most people are full weight bearing right after the operation, initially using a walker for a few days and then a cane. And then we see them back in the office usually at two weeks and then start an outpatient physical therapy program, typically up for about six weeks. But the full recovery is usually about three months to be back to most activities of daily living. My name's Omar Hussami. I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon. You can contact me via the webpage or call the number below if there's any questions about any orthopedic procedures that I perform.